All right, here we go. We finally got the show up and ready. How's everybody doing today? Good. You? Pretty good. Sorry about that, folks. We're having some technical difficulties, <laughs> right? But we're good to get it. We're getting it all worked out. Uh, how's everybody doing <laughs> this week? <laughs> no, like, is it going to work? I just don't want to touch anything. <laughs> uh, so how's it been? Good, good. Uh, merch by Amazon has been crazy this week, right? Are you guys seeing the same thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been pretty good. Yeah, I was not a big believer in Cyber Monday until it happened to me. So. Yeah, me either. This is my first like fourth quarter um, experience with Amazon, so I was super happy with Monday's results. Totally. Did yeah. you? How many do you do you want to share? How many did you sell on Monday? Uh, on Monday alone, um, I think I did. I did five hundred dollars in sales. Let me what? see if I can pull the exact number up. Wow, that, that was crazy. Awesome. I did five hundred and fifty-three dollars, and I sold a hundred and ten shirts. So it was wild. Like I didn't believe it was happening because I was working on shirts while it was going on. I was like, "Is this serious?" Like every like every five minutes, a shirt was selling. So I was like, "Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching." <laughs> You have that that desktop thing that'll it when it make you make a sale at Chings on your desktop. Yeah. Yep. How do you how do you do that? Can you do it on your phone or is it to be on your computer only? Uh, the alert. Yeah, the alert. Uh, it's just on your computer. It's called a uh, merch alerts. I think it's a Google yeah. Chrome extension. Oh, okay. You can just you can just install it on your Google Chrome browser and uh, it kind of syncs mm. to your account. Does Merch Tools? Oh, so I think that's what I have. Merch Tools. Uh, yeah, there's two of them. I think Merch Tools does. Okay. And I'm then not... it's so sad when I get on and like my sales are down. It sounds like a coin dropping, like it's this little sad oh, coin really? dropping sound. <laughs> I just heard. I heard. I heard that noise a while ago. So you must have just sold another one. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. How are, How are your sales? Just, uh... I, I know that they've been good for just about everyone, but were you guys surprised also? My, actually, cool. mine mine wasn't that good on Monday, so they were just normal. Oh, man. My, my, I had my best day. I sold 17 shirts on, on Monday. Great. Awesome. I mean, for me, I, so yeah. that's $97.44, you know? That's, that's really good, though. Yeah. Awesome. I sold six shirts, but oh well, it's fine. That's good though, but it's more than your average, is it? What's your yeah, yeah, it's more than my average, yeah. That's yeah, good. that's yeah. You were doing about one to two a day, right? So that's good. You yeah. saw the same. You saw about the same increase as us then. Yeah. Um, so where are you guys at with your numbers? Like your um, total number of sales. Well, you for might not month? feel like, but <laughs> for the month or what? Yeah, well, like, because I know you're waiting to tear up, right? Because you, you're yeah. over your, your mark to tear up. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think that this month I have 110 sales or something. That's awesome. Now, yeah. I, I heard in one of the other groups they were starting to tear some people up. Oh, right. So, I, even I think, check. I think uh, one guy in our group, uh, Michael, he – he went from 500 to 1,000, so. Yeah, yeah. And it, and most of the people were saying it was like the people on the higher end, like the 100 to 500 or the 500 to the 1,000. Because yeah. a lot of people were saying, hey, I didn't get tiered up to 100 from the 25, you know. So. I know. It's annoying. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for my 8,000 tier. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I can't even fill up a thousand slots. I had so many removed. I just realized that it doesn't even matter. So how many uh, did you how many did you have before they got removed and how many got removed? I when I was looking at the total, you know how it shows your total designs, I was it reads thirteen twenty five. Wow. And and I only have eight hundred live right now. When oh I look my over gosh. here, I have like a, a whiteboard on the side, so Oh man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So That's what, crazy. What tier are you on right now, Mike? Uh, the four thousand. 
So do, when they go from 1,000, does it go 1,000, 2,000, 3,000? Because I thought it jumped after that, 1,000 to... Uh, I don't, I think it went 1,000 to 2,000, then 2,000 to 4,000. And then wow. I think it goes 4,000 to 8,000. Jeez. It might as well be a million. I mean, come on. Yeah. I don't know. So I don't know if you guys saw, uh, there was a post, uh, Daniel Claude, Claudel. Am I saying that correctly? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who that I is. Um, oh, this is good for the viewers, uh, just for more inspiration, like, because I think I'm doing good. And then I saw he posted last week or at the beginning of the week, he did, he's doing $10,000 in sales um, in royalties a week. A week? Wow. A week in seven in a seven day period he i think he has three thousand three to four thousand designs live so uh yeah he's he's crushing it forty thousand dollars a month not bad yeah 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 just think about that he's making a you know a good annual salary every month <laughs> off of selling shirts on uh Merch by Amazon. So. Good accountant is all I'm thinking. Like, all of the, I'd start getting really scared of the IRS coming to look at me real close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, get a good accountant, figure this out, pay pay your pay what you got to pay to the government so they don't come after the rest of it. Yep. Hey, just pay quarterly. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Because I get excited. <laughs> where because this this month I'm on Target because today's the last day of the month so I'm looking at my numbers. And like I'm estimating my royalties to be about nine hundred and fifty dollars so far, you know. And for me, that's a big jump from last month. Last month I was at like six hundred, so it's about three hundred more than last month. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and that was just this month. My my goal was eight hundred bucks, and it just like. Whew. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And I think it's going to continue through, you know, the higher sales are is going to continue from what I've heard through most of January and February, so. See, I was telling my husband, I was like, probably in January, we're gonna see a big drop, just letting you know. <laughs> so yeah, maybe. I'd be surprised, I don't know, because uh, people are getting like gift cards and returns and exchanges, so, That's you know, true. we might see, we might see it, it keep up to pace, I think, hopefully. Yeah. Do y'all get a lot of, um, not returns, but like where they just they cancel. Yeah. They cancel cancels. Yeah. You know what? I I I haven't got a cancel in like four months. So since I, I started, pretty that. much. Like I would get I one hardly, or so. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And I just I hardly get any. I'm noticing now, like the more I'm selling, the more I'm getting. So I think, but I think proportionally, mm. it's because I think so far I've had four or five cancellations this month. But back when I was in the 25 and 100 tier, I would just get one every now and then. So I think it'll grow when with your numbers. Yeah. Yeah, I think it all depends. For me, it depends. Every once in a while, I don't get many cancellations. Um, but there is something that I noticed when I am getting a cancellation now. Oh, you froze, Mike. Uh oh, Mike froze. What, what did you say again? I think you're back. back. Yep, you're back. About fifty percent of the time, I've noticed it has to do with a uh, copycat. So, mm. because I have more designs up, I'll look and it's someone who has the same design as me, and uh, like pixel for pixel. Actually, it's happened like three times this month, wow. and uh, yeah, they're just like priced at ten ninety nine. <laughs> so when you see a cancellation on a shirt, go check and see if there's a copycat for that one. Yeah, that's why. I, and usually, all you have to do is click on the shirt and then look below. Oh, okay. Where it says, you know, people also shop for because if they added it to, if they added your shirt to the cart, like it'll show up down there. I've noticed. Mm, okay, I'm gonna do that because I was like, all of a sudden, I have this one shirt. It's like a pickle. It's like a pickle shirt. It doesn't just have a pickle on it, but I'm not gonna tell you. But all of a sudden, it was like <laughs> this pickle shirt's like really popular this month. Like, what happened? I don't know. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> is that your uh, is that your sun shirt? No, but it's a spin off of that one. My son did a, a pickle shirt that is sold some. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> we did a spin. Has your uh has that one shirt he designed with the plane on it last week he told us has that sold? No, and he keeps asking me too. My so if you're <laughs> watching, my son wanted to make some money. He created a shirt design, you know, and we found a, a nice image that he could use. Um it's an airplane shirt and it hasn't sold 
at all. And so I just, I told him like, look, I just had 200 shirts taken down. Nobody bought 200 shirts. Don't sit there and cry <laughs> over one shirt, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, how, you're at the 500 tier, right, Margaret? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, so how many years shirt? You, 200 got taken down? About 200, yeah. So, and oh, I've wow. been putting, uh, well, well, let's talk about that and then I'll talk about my strategy going forward. Cause that was hard in one day to look at and like, boom, like you've dropped 200 shirts. How many mm -hmm. did you have taken down Joe? Wait, did we talk about this before? Pro no, we, we haven't, but uh, I think just like 20 or so. Cause I was kind of switching them out anyways. Oh, that's right. And then like my I said, I think like I said before total after I counted them up, I've had like, since I started, you know, I've been a hundred tier for a while, but I've had over 500 designs up that I've been switching out. Yeah. So, yeah, that's crazy, man. I would, uh, I don't, I almost don't know if I recommend that because <laughs> when I first, and I'm just being honest because when I first started, uh, it, it seemed like there was a trend that it would take, you know, every once in a while a shirt I upload sells like within the first day or two, but it's super rare, mm -hmm. like very rare. Um, yeah. usually it takes like two or three weeks. It seems like before, and then I'll see it shirts that I uploaded in bulk, like a few sell around the same period in time. So sometimes I feel like it takes a while for them to kind of populate in the search results. Yeah, I actually would wait, like I would wait probably three, three or four weeks before I take it down, so. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like you want to give it a chance to get in there. I don't or know. Or maybe I'd, <laughs> I'd realize, realize it was a bad design and then I would just take it down, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll be out of the 100 tier soon, right? Yeah, yeah, hopefully anytime. Do you so. think that, because somebody asked this in one of the groups, or somebody said this, well, if you don't have all of your slots filled up, they're not going to bump you up. But I'm like, I don't think that's true. Mm -mm. They will. I know, yeah, I'm like, I don't, I'd rather, I mean, I, you would think they would rather have people with good designs up than just like, let me hurry up and put 500 crappy things up to, to get teared up. But I did just yeah. this week have a, a shirt. This I've never had this happen where I designed it, you know, put it up one day and it sold the very next day. And that was a really good. I know I put it in the group. That was a really yeah. good feeling. Yeah, it's cool when that happens. I, I I did a thing on um, Merch University. I was looking at my shirts and I was like, I've been selling a lot of military shirts. So in my that Merch University group, I put, um, hey, I'm going to give away a couple of military design shirts. So I just made a couple and gave them away. But then I also made some more, like for, for me, I made like a couple more and I uploaded those right away and I actually got to sell today off of one I uploaded Monday. So that was cool. That is cool. I'm looking to see if there's any questions in the chat before we move forward. You want to shout out people or just say? Yeah. Travel and Troy said, I wish they'd make a seller's app for merch. I agree. That'd be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. That would be there, cool. Do you have a way to upload from your phone? Somebody asked me that. Was it you, Mike? No, it wasn't Mike. I've I've tried. You can't do it. Yeah. So no. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe someday. That's one of my questions. I think I put it in here after I said I sent you guys like all the questions compiled compiled, and I like. You know what? This is a good question. What would you like to see if you were if you had like access to the merch people and you could go say this is what we need? Like, what would you want to see as far as like? Their platform like options and then as far as the dashboard that like what kind of things you could do on the dashboard uh, I wouldn't I don't care about the back-end software like I, I feel like it works fine it doesn't need to be pretty up like I feel like a lot of other print-on-demands have like better layouts for uploading but like who can like that doesn't matter like their things are selling so it's working um, but I want more options for the customer. That, that like forget about everything else. Just get your pra like get your production good and like working so you can print out as many shirts as you can possibly and then add sweatshirts, add tank tops, add onesies, add all that yeah. the good stuff. So that's all I want it want to see happen. Anything else? Like don't I mean, waste your time it. there. Yeah. <laughs> Print us more yeah. stuff, you know? That's true, yeah. How about you, Joe? Yeah, I, I would wish they would seller app. I wish they would make that. That would be cool. So you can keep up. 
So. Right. Yeah. And also, I wish you could upload. Actually, upload from your phone. That'd be actually real. Oh, that'd be awesome. Actually, yeah. if you could make it and you know word swag and then upload it right away. I mean, that'd be cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what was I going to say? I wish that on. The, I wish I could bulk edit like prices. That's the thing. Because sometimes oh. I don't want to drop some prices. I wish I could just like grab these mm -hmm. ones and change the price to all to this that I want, but. Yeah, but I yeah it, bulk <laughs> it would be more important to have more options, you know. Mm -hmm. That's where I mean. That's where the the rubber hits the road. This is the pocketbook. <laughs> okay, so have you tried out any new platforms for designing stuff? Like I know I've been using Word Swag and stuff, and my husband is trying to teach me Illustrator. <sighs> I'm still using Illustrator for the bulk of my designs, and I just. I just on a whim like went out and got the iPad because I wanted it so badly. And I know I can use it as a tax write off, so that was my excuse. Is <laughs> no, I can use it for a write off. Um, but so I got that and the Apple Pen, and I've been doing a lot of stuff with Procreate. Yeah. And why I like it so much so far is there. There's definitely a learning curve because you're drawing everything by hand, but. I feel like the designs are more mine, so I'm able to say I want a, a poodle to put in a design or something. I can go and draw my own little character that's not on anyone else's shirt and then, you know, blend in words around it and stuff like that. Or the stuff that you've seen on my live stream when I'm drawing uh, elements, I'm able to do that so much quicker and then I literally just drag it and swing it up to the creative cloud and then I can pull it right into the computer. It's a really easy process. Are you an artist, Mike? No. Or do you like I don't to draw know. or anything? I like I like I'm I'm enjoying drawing very much. I've I took some art classes in college, but I don't it's just all kind of new. Yeah. But I'm enjoying it. Hey, look, look who's on the feed. We got the one and only Glenn Zubia in the house. Hustler Hacks. Yeah. Hey, Glenn. Oh, man. What's going on? <laughs> so that that is one thing that I really want Randy to teach me because he, he did this for me one time. I drew, like, on a piece of paper. I drew a picture that we wanted to put on a shirt, and he took it and scanned it and vectored it and made all the lines, like, normal-looking lines, you know? And so I really wanted yeah. him to teach me how to do that. So, yeah. yeah, that's a little that's a little more difficult. I think that's a little more advanced, but you can do it. Yeah, the yeah. pen tool. <laughs> oh my pen gosh! Tool. So I'm gonna upload this video when I find it. Randy saved it, and he's it's, he spends an hour, literally an hour, trying to teach me how to draw a heart in Illustrator. It was that <laughs> hard like, for me, but I have a feeling like a lot of people are on that level with me, where they just I don't, it's oh, not yeah. very intense, you know. I saw some oh, yeah. guy, some person do a heart, and they just like grabbed a couple shapes and they just like angled them, and then like there was their heart right there. I was like, wow, that is so. That's oh, crazy. yeah. I mean, when he did it, he did it like lickety split, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, slow down. I need to, you know, and I was like, why can't I just get a heart and put it over here, like drag, drag and drop, right? Like pick monkey. Well, you, you know, don't, don't forget also. If you guys have seen, there's something that I use called the brush, the paintbrush tool. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you're brave enough to try it, like you can make a heart, your designs freehand. So, with the pen, you're kind of you're you're dragging lines and making them into a shape, kind of. But mm -hmm. they also give you the option to try and do stuff freehand with the mouse, but it's a lot more difficult. We'll see how it goes. But I'm glad, I, I'm glad I'm trying it on his before I went out and bought it because I was just gonna dive in and get it, and now I'm kind of glad I didn't. <laughs> how much was the How much was the Procreate and stuff? All that. Um, I think Procreate was the app is like nine dollars or something or five ninety nine. I think it's not too bad. Uh, oh. but then the Apple Pencil. I mean, it was an ex it was a large expense. I think it was a hundred dollars for the pencil. Oh, okay, it's not too bad though. And then uh. The uh, iPad was eight hundred or something. So, yeah. can, you, can you use your phone, or does it have to be? Do you have to have the iPad? I think you need the iPad Pro. To, you need the iPad Pro to use the pen. Oh, okay. 
That's cool because you can take it with you too. I mean, for me, you yeah. don't have kids, but like for me, I can. You could take it to swim lessons if you had, you know. Yeah. Get your kids places. Yep. And well, that's another thing. Is I travel a lot, so it'll be nice because I can. Yeah. I already realize I can sit on my lap and like do, you know, do designs anywhere. So. Rope and reseller asks in the chat: When you draw with the Apple pencil, is it a vector drawing? Um. No, not exactly. You can, can you can export it as a PSD file, which I think is Photoshop. I'm not I'm not even sure what it is, but I'm when I drag drag that over, I'm able to resize it without losing any quality. Yeah. Um, but there's also some other like you can quickly vectorize stuff. There's some shortcuts. I don't know, but you can also export as a PNG. So. Yeah. You can get it to the size that you want, and I, and I do it on the merch. In Procreate, I use a merch layout, so 4,500 by 5,400. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I kind of size it how I want already on there, so it's already at the right size. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You just did a live a live uh, Procreate video, didn't you, today? I'm trying to figure out how to stream uh, the screen, so... Hopefully this afternoon I'll get it down and then I can show how it works. I'm using it. I've never. I don't think I've ever streamed the screen. I've done like a video showing my screen, but then uploaded it later. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. It was freezing, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So some of the questions we got, some were from last time. I don't think that we got to. Um. Ah, I lost it. Here we go. Uh, so Dennis asked, some of the big guns say not to worry about keywords. Um, in a sea of shirts on Amazon, I don't see how someone's going to find your shirt then. So I know we've talked a bit about keywords in the past. What do you think? Oh, definitely. Um, someone said to ignore them, you said? Yeah, yeah. Like, don't even worry about the keywords, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't suggest that because <laughs> I don't know how someone's going to find your your listing. Yeah, how'd they go? Yeah. I mean, unless they you want the important ones in there that you're trying to target. And I have been doing better about creating like a sentence instead of, I didn't think what I was doing was keyword stuffing, but I think the more I'm realizing maybe it was. I mean, because I wasn't doing like, you know, Air Force for mom, Air Force for dad, Air Force for, where I would be more fleshed out, you know, but still, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Um, yeah, if I have an Air, Air Force shirt, I just put Air Force mom or whatever. Yeah. Show your pride in your child's Air Force. Blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. The cornier, the better. Yeah. <laughs> Get your wings. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one, um, Dennis also says, I also have a design that I want to help with since it's above my capabilities. Oh, wait, no. Some tips on finding a designer. That's what the main question was. So if you wanted to find a designer, if you weren't already a designer, what tips would you give? Um, so I, I heard some, some uh, good ones on a podcast the other day. Uh, I think 99 Designs, someone gave a really good kind of hack for that. So you can go over there and view projects that are getting submitted uh, for illustration work, uh, logo design, t-shirt design, stuff like that. And what you're able to do is a lot of the artists are have a profile on there. So you can see what they're submitting for the designs. And then if you like someone's style, you can reach out to them individually and uh, try to negotiate something outside of 99 Designs with them because they're doing all these designs for free. Wow. Like hoping to get client work there, and if you offer them a fair rate, uh, then you know that would probably that's the best thing I've heard. Uh, that definitely. So you can find people who are hungry for work there because they're already submitting designs, and um, you know you, they're not going to take work for like five dollars a design or three dollars a design. Like, like that's. I mean, it's, that's really crazy low for someone who's giving a good design. And um, that's all I can, I mean, that's all I can say. There's people in the world that are going to do it. But if you want a really good, high-quality designer uh, that 
that's going to last that you want to use for long term, you're going to have to pay like $20 a design. Yeah. I'd yeah. say. How about Unless you? You're setting up a bulk deal with them, but. Right. Yeah. Have you used any designers, Joe? Um, I used Fiverr one time. I used this one guy named Hustler Hacks one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't got any designs from him yet. Is he I used a. Uh, yeah, I think he is. Yeah, he's still doing designs. I used uh, VA Rentals one time. They're pretty good. Yeah. If you want to know, like, uh, VA Rentals, uh, they're they're pretty good. They actually show you when they send you your, your stuff. It might cost a little bit, but um, when you see how they put their keywords and how they put everything in their, their bullet points, I kind of like mirror what they do now just from buying that stuff. So even though some of them didn't sell, but I mean, from what I've, I've made my money back, so. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So Philip in the chat asks Mike, um, with the Pinterest ads, would you go for a broad niche I think possibly I'm too specific, so not generating any sales from it. Any, for example, change black ninja cat to ninja cat. Do you know what he means? Yeah, it depends on what you're trying to target, Philip. So, I mean, if you have a ninja cat and you're trying to do sub niches, I would say do multiple because what I'm guessing is you're going for a low ad spend, but there, there's it. A lot of things like that, like Black Ninja Cat, probably don't have a lot of searches, so you might only get a, you know, you have very few uh, hits. So yeah, if you're not seeing enough impressions, then go to something a little bit more relevant, not as niche down. Maybe somebody doesn't know they want a Ninja Cat; they just want a ninja, and then they see your Ninja Cat, and then they're like, yeah. "Oh, I want a Ninja Cat." Yeah. <laughs> but you're going in the right direction. Just kind of start creating a web. I pick the word I want, and then draw lines with circles, and then pick stuff. Start drawing words that relate to, yeah, like like Margaret said, ninja cat. Like start at ninja, stealth. You know, it doesn't have to be the same word. It can be, it doesn't have to be the same topic. It can be a similar topic that's related to it. Gotcha. I need to do that with some of mine because I think I didn't do that as much as I probably could have. Yeah. So it's a have lot of testing. That? Joe, have you tried that any of the Pinterest ads or no, not yet? No, not yet. I I tried one time, but I was having a hard time with it, so I'm gonna have to try to figure it out again. Yeah, the first time I did it, I had to really play around with it, but it's it's getting a little easier. <laughs> it should be cheap though. You're not spending a lot of money on it, right? No, and I know we talked about that first. When I first tried it, I was like, I spent like sixty dollars, and no, that's not that's not good. No, yeah, you should be able to get impressions for like really cheap. If you yeah. like, be careful and like find. You just gotta find a small a niche keyword that works for your your shirt. Yeah. And get searches that no one else is paying for. And because I was like putting everything I could think of in there too, because I had like a Michelle Obama shirt, so it was just like everything Michelle Obama, this, that, the other, and I wasn't paying attention to certain things getting higher, you know. Yeah. And they'll and they'll ask for like a a dollar eighty a click or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of that high. <laughs> but I, you know, when I first was starting out doing that, I didn't know so. Yeah. Live and learn, right? <laughs> All right, Nick, he's not in the chat today, but last time he asked, um, do you find that comedy sells? I have so many funny, silly ideas I want to do, but I expect it's a really crowded area. Yeah, comedy sells. Definitely. Especially if you have something unique. <laughs> Send me your designs, Nick. I'll put them up for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, let's check them out. Yeah. Just okay. kidding. I'm not sending to <laughs> Nick's my bro. He knows. I'll I'll be straight with him. <laughs> uh, Will Kennedy. Uh oh, I just messed up my thing. Uh, he asked, "Would you guys suggest the, those people that are waiting for approval to get started um, with design ideas and start on other platforms?" Gosh, I feel like we we talked about this before, didn't we? We have. I we have. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and do that. If you're waiting yeah, to get you. accepted. 
yeah, yeah. then you can put them on other sites and then you'll have them ready to put on merch when the merch comes on yeah I think it's good I haven't tried any other ones other than Teespring but you've done some other ones I tried Tea Public and uh, Redbubble. Yeah. Yeah, the only okay. other place I've seen sales is on Redbubble. Cool, cool. I've had maybe two off of Teespring, but that was it. But I just go for their hot models <laughs> <laughs> to share on Instagram. Yeah, I saw that. I think I'm following you on one of my accounts somehow. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would say, too, if you're waiting, pick a niche. That you want to have five designs in and then build social media around it if you guys you know i think i'd talk about that in the in the course uh like building social media you can do that whenever so yeah yeah if you're waiting for three months you can get a really good social media presence around a niche that you want to target and then when you launch you can drive traffic to it awesome one thing one thing i'm working on with uh, social media is that for since a lot of my shirts are like in different niches, uh, I went actually on we on Weebly Weebly dot com. You can make your own like website or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm trying to find a way. There is a way actually you can do it. You can list your shirts in there, your pictures and your links, and then you can just have one link you know that you have to your website, and then just put that into into like the your info, your bio. In your Instagram, oh, yeah. and then and they when they go that they could go directly to your we we uh, well your your website really, which is through Weebly, and then they can see all your shirts. I mean, so I'm trying to build that up so I can do that. A good idea. And then it, Nick, Jeff Davidson's going to come talk to us next week, and he does he does different platforms, and I think he sells on his own website as well. So that's a nice. That sounds like a lot of work. But maybe it's not as much as I think, or maybe it's as you know profitable enough to make it worth my while, you know. So, um, can you ask Mike? I would say your name, but I can't. Golf? Oh, it's golf addict. Okay. Can you ask Mike what percentage of his sales are non-organic? Do you have a way to track that? Uh, through Amazon affiliates. Oh, okay. I can see when I get sales. Well, not a huge percentage. Maybe like. 15%. Well, I was organic. Right. Like I said, when when you do get a sale that you drive, when you do drive traffic and get a sale, it, it helps. It definitely helps your listing out. Yeah. Cool. And do you think that it's the same like with eBay and stuff when you're listing like, it feels like it though, when you're listing more shirts, when you're creating more shirts, you're getting more sales. I mean, it feels that way. I don't know if it's really, maybe it's just, I don't know. Yeah, I I feel like it's related sometimes. I don't know if it is, but yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't know how it could possibly because there's such different niches and things like that. But it feels like the harder I work at it, the more I. Understand. Well, you are you are like increasing your inventory too. So yeah, that's true. That's true. But sometimes it's not related. I don't know. So yeah, you need okay. to uh, show us how to do that affiliate link, uh, Mike, <laughs> for our shirts. Oh yeah. yeah, and I hadn't thought of that, like doing that in my Instagram, because I link my shirts, and I have an affiliate link. You know, I can do affiliate links, but I just didn't even the. Yeah, it's it's really simple. You just log in with your affiliate account, and then go to your listing, and a little Dropbox that Amazon uses for their affiliate program yeah. comes down, and you there's a button that says copy short link, yeah. and then that gives you the affiliate link. Okay. Doing that. Do you have affiliate links set up, Joe? No, no, I don't. No. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you get a sale, when you look at your reports, you can see uh, what T-shirts sold. So. But then, plus the way affiliates work. So let's say somebody sees your shirt on Instagram, they click on your affiliate link, they don't buy your shirt, but then they go buy a computer. Anything yep. within the next twenty-four hours after they click your link into Amazon, anything, any money they spend in twenty-four hours. You get affiliate money from. Yep. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's, I mean, I've had good months from. I mean, not I haven't done that with my shirts, but from other stuff like, um, yeah. What do you What do you post your, your links at? 
Well, um, Margaret. like in my, cause I, I'm real weary about being spammy about it. So I'll frequently put like affiliate links in our group for free Kindle books. So it's an affiliate mm. link for a free Kindle book so they can buy it, you know, or get it or not. It's free. So I don't feel like I'm pushing, like I'm selling something or buy something. Um, but then if say they go buy Pampers, you know, then I guess. So do you get a free, oh, if it's a free book, you don't get any money off of it though, right? No, but if they go do something else, buy something else buy, within gotcha. the next 24 hours, then there's a uh, residual from hey. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then I don't feel okay. like I'm trying to get you to buy something. You know? I like that. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> next question. I get this one a lot. Am I actually my sister asked me this the other day? Because um, I'm trying to get her to sign up, and she said, "Do you have to be a seller on Amazon before you can sign up for merch?" Because that's what she thought. She's like, "Well, I don't sell on Amazon." I'm like, I don't think you have to. No, I don't think so. No. No, or even well, have an Amazon account, because I know somebody I who has know. like an account for his kid. Yeah, it's a whole different account, I believe. Yeah. Are right, well, are you gonna um, open an account for Randy? He, he's already account? applied, yeah. It's been oh, about two okay. months. Are you going to open an account for your boys? I just did. <laughs> <laughs> because they, they, they're coming up with ideas. I'm like, shoot, why not? Okay, let me apply for them, you know? And they've got a bank account, so if they, get, if they make money, it can go into their bank account. There you go. I'll just have to pay the taxes on it. That'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, why not? Um, and then is there any specific information that you put on the application? When you guys filled it out, you know, it says like your name, your what your shop name is going to be, and what kind of like business you have. And I chose novelty t-shirt. But then there's like website and then that optional box. I Don't think what I, I did is put my name and then, oh, for my shirt name, just to put, I just put Joe's t-shirts. I mean, just something really, really basic because they really didn't matter, you know? Yeah. And then I, I chose small business, so... Yeah, I just brought my that's name. That's it. I mean, because I'm a sole proprietor on there. So yeah, I mean, I put Texas Gal Treasures and then like my website. Okay, so here's Randy. Here's the deal. Like Randy keeps putting testes for his shirt name. I'm like, babe, you're already <laughs> telling them you're going to be trouble. To know <laughs> testes. I was like, I get it, testes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so like, you might want to change that. One. It's funny. <laughs> Yeah, trouble, trouble. Um, okay, uh, that's. I mean, those are most of the questions that we've gotten this this time. Do you have, or if there's any in the chat, or do you have anything else you want to talk about before we? I don't know. Wrap it up. Um. What else? I don't know. I'm trying to think of other questions that people have. I'm listening to Merch Minds. I, I'm still in the middle of the one that you did with them. Mike. So. Yeah, that was that was good talking to them. Yeah, yeah. definitely go uh, check out Glenn and uh, Young's podcast. Yeah, they've I'll had like some really that. good guests. Yeah, they have. So, <laughs> I've learned stuff from listening to it. Yeah, I was on their uh, I was on their show one time and uh, we I messed up so my computer was really bad having a bad connection so we they scratched me they xed uh. me. They're going to uh -huh. have you back. You know they will. <laughs> yeah. We'll, 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 get a, we'll go back on there again. So do it. All right. So cool. Be good. Yeah. So is that it? Do you want to drag this thing to the 1 o'clock hour, or do you want to call it? No, that's good. We can call it today. <laughs> yeah. And then next yeah, guys, guys. Sorry. Go ahead. So it was good chatting with you guys. Hope you get a lot of designs uploaded. Yeah, me too. So, um, what what uh, tier are you at, Mike? Again, uh, the four thousand. And so, how many? So you'll have what a thousand shirts up right now? Uh, I'm at eight hundred, but I've been trying to do twenty, twenty a day. So, so I want to get to a thousand by the end of the by Christmas. By Christmas, back up to a thousand. Yeah, I'm going wow. hard. Uh, I'm inspired. Like I told you, that post inspired me. So if you guys aren't, <laughs> there's Which, so much possibility. Like, yeah. you know, I got sidetracked for a while, and I was doing other stuff. 
and I wasn't fully focused for like maybe a half a month, but now I'm like, I just need to, you know, lock back down and keep getting designs up. Yeah, I, I think I already have like 200 shirts sold. So hopefully when I hit 500 uh, designs, I can sell just 300 more, then I'll be up to a thousand designs. So I'm excited. So yeah. It's good. Awesome. Awesome. Good to see where it goes. What about you, yeah. Margaret? Are you gonna fill up your five hundred pretty soon, or what? I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Instead of like having these mega, you know, creating and uploading sessions, I'm trying to do like five or so a day to stagger it out. Because when that two hundred came down all at once, that was really daunting for me. So now it's like maybe if it's staggered, it won't be quite as, yeah, hard <laughs> to see. Because then if you know five come down, I'm working on five more to each day to fill up those slots. So hopefully it'll do work. You that use, way. Do you use any of the graphics from um, Big Monkey on your shirts? I have some. I mean, most of the time I try to tweak them on, and not just like, or it, and I think the thing is, it can't be like the main. It has to be an element, not just the. This is the graphic taken from Big Monkey, and boom. So I tweak it, or I'll make it an element of the shirt. Sometimes I will. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. We'll. Uh, Try to have a, or, or we're going we're to have another show next week. And who's it with again, Margaret? Jeff Davidson. Jeff Davidson. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Well, you guys have a good day, everybody. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and uh, we'll get this video up on, uh, it will be up on merch and then it'll be also on uh, Margaret's channel later today. Sweet. Thanks so much, guys. All right. Have a good day.